Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my three week update on my nipple piercing. Um, you guys have been going crazy asking me, you know, how it's doing. Um, if you haven't already, I did upload a video of my reaction of getting it pierced. So if you do want to see that, I will have that linked up in the corner for you right now. So you can go ahead and check that out. But basically it just shows my reaction of them putting a needle through my nipple. And this video is going to be the three week three week update, kind of a random week, but just with the way filming worked out, you guys are actually seeing this on the exact three week mark, which is perfect. So on January 2nd, 2016, I did get my right nipple pierced. I know on the video of my reaction video, I wrote 2015, but I totally meant 2016. The new year always does that to me. It just happens, but it was in 2016 on January 2nd, I went and got my right nipple pierced. Yes, I only did get one pierced. Um, the reason why I do talk about that in my reaction video. I can't yet get my left nipple pierced until I get a doctor's okay from it. And I went to Lightning Revival Tattoo and Piercing, um, basically right in Byron Center, which is actually where I went to high school, which is crazy enough. So I did go there because I heard a lot of really great things and the piercer was a female. And after experiencing it and actually getting my nipple pierced, I do think I would have been a little too uncomfortable if a guy was doing it. I don't know why, that's just how I felt. So I really liked having a female piercer. Of course, it really doesn't matter if a guy or a girl pierces you. I mean, it's their job, they see boobs probably on a very regular basis, but me personally, I had a female piercer and the overall cost of everything was $30 for the piercing and then I gave her a $6 tip. So all together, I paid $36, which in my opinion is a really, really good price. Usually I would go to um, another shop and piercings are only $10 there, which is where I got most of my piercings done. But I really do like this shop and I probably will continue to go back to it just because the service was really nice, the piercer was amazing and I just had a really really great experience there so um before we get into how it's doing, I thought I would just kind of go through and describe the procedure of how everything went, you know, the pain, the jewelry, all that good stuff, and then we will get into, you know, how it's doing now three weeks later. If you guys don't want to hear this part, I will put down in the description box time lapses of like where you can skip to if you want to, you know, hear a certain part of the video. But yeah, so basically I went in, my appointment was at 2 o'clock on January 2nd, and I was flipping nervous. I was so, so scared. And I think the number one thing I was most scared of is like, and this is very like stupid to think, but I was like, oh my God, what if my nipple isn't hard? Like what if they can't pierce it? So literally on the whole car ride there, I wore a light jacket and had the window rolled down so I would be freezing, so my nipple would be hard, you know? I don't know, it's kind of awkward, kind of TMI, but I was just so nervous that my nipple wasn't gonna be hard and they weren't gonna be able to pierce it because 90% of the time, you know, females nipples are soft, right? Like they're not always hard. I mean, if yours are, then you're very lucky, but <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was probably most scared of. And then obviously, yes, I was very, very scared of the pain. So yeah, right when I got there, I basically filled out a whole bunch of paperwork, you know, do you have any, um, you know, allergic reactions to anything? Are you prone to fainting? Which that question kind of freaked me out. So I was like, what the hell do you mean? Like, do people faint a lot with this piercing? I don't know. So um, yeah, I filled out a ton of paperwork and then I had to sign it. And then I basically met with the piercer. And then once I finally met, we went into a secluded closed off room. So no one could like see me getting my nipple pierced, which is a good thing. I kind of wanted privacy. Um, but yeah, once we got in there, she basically said, you know, just get undressed accordingly. And I, some people, like some people's videos that I've seen on YouTube, some people get one like completely nude, like they take off their whole shirt. I didn't really think that was necessary and I was just getting the right one done. So I basically just pulled my shirt and my bra down so that my right boob was out. And um, just a little disclaimer, I am very, very small chested and I do have fairly small nipples. I am an A cup. So everything there is just kind of small. So just kind of keep that in mind. And she basically said, okay, just put your arms down and be totally relaxed. I'm going to mark the area. Um, and I was standing up for that part. Just keep that in mind as well, because when you are standing up, that is when, you know, your body is, you know, most 
you know, what's the word, most ready for to be marked. I don't know, that's just where your anatomy is. So basically she marked it and I took a look at it. Um, really liked the location of it, was really happy with it because I know some people have been pierced through their entire areola and that is just not okay. I wanted my nipple pierced, not my areola pierced. So um, yeah, I looked at it and it was all good and she basically said, okay, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and lay down. And she just explained, you know, what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you to take a deep breath in, out, you know, all that good stuff. You can see all that in the reaction video. And this is when I started to get like really super nervous. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I have 19 piercings in total. And every time I get a new one, I, I get super nervous. That's just how I am. Like I swallow really hard and like my heart's going, like it's just how I am, it's really weird. So then it finally came time to actually pierce the nipple. And if you guys don't know this, every single time I get a piercing, no matter what kind of piercing it is, no matter what area of my body it is, I always have to shut my eyes. I don't know why. I just always have to shut my eyes when I get a new piercing. That's just how I've always been and that's just how I do things. So yeah, basically she said, okay, take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. And as I was taking the deep breath out, that's when the piercing happened. And to be perfectly honest, I was actually expecting it to hurt a million times worse than it did. Don't get me wrong, it did really hurt. <laughs> it was not at all, you know, good feeling. Yeah, it, it really wasn't that horrible. Like I thought it was going to be way, way worse than that. Um, so yeah, after it was done, she put the jewelry in and that part didn't really hurt. The clamps didn't hurt as well. She did have it clamped while she pierced it. The clamps didn't really hurt. It just kind of felt like someone pinching your nipple. And then the actual piercing itself, it hurt more coming out the other side than it did initially going in. I don't really remember feeling it going right in. I more or less felt it burning as it like pushed through the other side of my nipple. Um, yeah, and then it was over and done. She put the jewelry in, she put the ball on, she tightened it, cleaned it up a little bit, and it was over. Really, really quick. I think the whole reaction video is maybe like four minutes, and the piercing itself was just a couple minutes long. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, as far as blood, um, there wasn't too much blood, because I obviously I couldn't see because I was laying down. But she said there was a little bit of blood, but nothing too bad, which is shocking because usually when I do get piercings, I tend to bleed really, really bad. Okay, so now we are going to move on to jewelry as to what kind of jewelry I had, but that was basically the whole procedure of the piercing. Um, now, as far as jewelry, I was pierced with a 16 gauge barbell. That was the very first initial jewelry I had in my nipple. And before anyone goes down in the comment section, 16 gauge is perfectly fine. Yes, most people, they do get pierced with a 14 gauge because that's just what most piercers will use is a 14 gauge in the nipple. However, if you guys remember earlier when I said I am very small chested and have very small nipples, a 14 gauge would look ridiculous ridiculous in my nipple. It just wouldn't look right. So that is why I was, what is this hair doing? That is why I was pierced with a 16 gauge. There is nothing wrong with it. Cause I know a lot of people went batshit crazy in the comments calling my piercer irresponsible because she used a 16 gauge. It would actually be irresponsible for her to put a very large bulky piece of jewelry in my nipple. That would just make healing not a good time. So no, it's fine, 16 gauge is perfect and everything's going great. So that is the jewelry that I had. And it was pretty short, um, like the barbell itself was pretty short because you know, I do have small nipples, but she did also give me a 16 gauge circular barbell um, to take home with me for swelling. Now, that's another thing people freaked out about. Oh my God, she gave you jewelry to change yourself. That's so dangerous. Okay, okay guys, I have 19 piercings. If I needed to change something myself, I am perfectly 100% capable. I know how to do it. You clean the jewelry, you wash your hands, you don't let it touch anything that could possibly contaminate it with bacteria. You change the jewelry, not dry, then you clean it. I know the drill of changing piercings. It's really not a big deal. So yes, she did give me a 16 gauge circular barbell to change it myself. Or I could have went in to her and she could have done it for me. It really didn't matter. She did not say, you're not allowed to come back here. She just said, if you need to change it, you can either change it yourself or you can come back in here and I will change it for you. 
which is fine. That is fine. Like, freak out, people. No, but, um, so yeah, she did give me that, which I am very, very glad she did, and I will get into that in a minute. So basically, um, after it was done, after the piercing was done, it, it was uncomfortable, but it wasn't, like, painful. It just kind of felt like burning, um, like, you know, someone had been, you know, playing with my nipples for a little too long. That's kind of what it felt like. Just really like an uncomfortable burning sensation. And a lot of people told me um, wearing a bra is going to feel really great. Where actually I was the complete opposite. I actually found it 100% comfortable to not wear a bra at all. And just, you know, free hanging. Um, I just found wearing a bra kind of, eh, I didn't really like it. So I just wore, went without a bra for a few days. Um, Obviously, when I was at work, I had my sweatshirt on so my nips weren't poking through. Uh, but yeah, that's how it kind of went afterward. So now getting into the actual cleaning and how the first few weeks went and how it's doing now. Basically, how I would clean my piercing is I did my good old fashioned sea salt soaks and I actually used a shot glass. I would make my little sea salt solution in here, lean over, basically dip my nipple in it and lay back. And that's how I would clean my nipple. I would do that for about 10 minutes, one to two times a day. Nothing more than that because that could kind of really get a little bit drying. And then when I were in the shower, if I used a little bit too much much salt one time I would use my Provan um, soap to clean it as well so that's basically how I've been cleaning it and the first few days were really fine um, there wasn't too much blood the swelling wasn't too bad and there wasn't that bad of pain now moving on to day six boom that's when the fucking healing started. That's when it all started to get real and serious. Um, that's when I started to experience major swelling. And um, that's another thing I did too is the first couple days I would keep an ice pack. Like if I were to wear a bra, I would wear it really, really loose and just put an ice pack up against my nipple. And that's basically how I would walk around with that. But around day five, day six is when things started to get a little out of control. Um, when I get piercings, I tend to swell and I'm a very slow healer when it comes to them but that's basically when the real healing began and the real swelling and pain started so this is where we're getting back into that 16 gauge um, circular barbell I am so glad she gave that to me because I had to end up changing it in the next day so day seven is when I had to change it for the first time which again that went totally fine it was a little bit uncomfortable but it wasn't too it wasn't anything too painful but I'm so glad I was able to change it because if I didn't then my nipple would have literally swallowed that barbell that I had in. It was just, the swelling just got out of hand and I needed more room, so the circular barbell was absolutely perfect. So basically, I like having the barbell in much more than having the horseshoe in. The reason being is because the horseshoe gets caught easier. It's a lot, you know, there's a lot more hanging down, so it gets bumped a lot easier. So I wasn't too big of a fan of the horseshoe, but as far as like getting control of the swelling, which lasted for maybe about another three, four days, it was a miracle worker. I absolutely, I loved it. I loved having that barbell because if I didn't, then I would be in the hospital because my nipple would have swallowed it. So yeah, that is basically how it happened and healing was going a lot better. I was back to cleaning it one to two times a day with either my Provan or my sea salt soaks, which are really, really helpful. We are going to move on to the three week update, which is today. Um, healing has been absolutely amazing. This is probably the most easygoing piercing I've ever had. Like healing is just going absolutely beautifully. It looks so gorgeous. I absolutely love it so much. And yeah, everything's just going amazing. So um, I am back to wearing bras full time. You know, it's totally comfortable for me to wear a bra. Love it, love it. There is no major pain. Sometimes when I do bump it the wrong way though, I will feel a little bit of pain, but other than that, no pain at all. As far as jewelry, um, I wore the circular barbell, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I wore that circular 16 gauge barbell for, I think it was maybe 
four or five-ish days and then I actually went online and I ordered a actual nipple barbell. I went on, I think it was, I don't know what I did with the card, of course, go figure. I think I went on freshtrends.com and I ordered a nipple bar from there because I really, really liked the look of barbells, just plain regular barbells and nipple piercings. That is just my all-time desired look. I think that looks the best. So I really wanted another barbell and I got one a little bit longer. So the one that I have in now and the one that is going to stay probably for forever is a 16 gauge half inch straight barbell and then the balls on it are five millimeter balls which yes are a little bit big but I think it looks so freaking good because the barbell that I was initially pierced with the balls were pretty small I would say maybe they were like two millimeters um, they were pretty small and I wanted them to be a little bit bigger so you know knowing me I went the bigger the better and got five millimeter balls and I did end up changing that on um, how long have I had it in now? I think maybe a week now I've had this barbell in so yes I have changed my piercing one two times since I've got it done in the three week period which is never recommended you should never take out or change your jewelry early because that can just you know lead to things like rejection migration infection just all those nasty things that you don't want but it's doing so good. There is no blood, there is no pain, there is no swelling. The jewelry went in easy every single time with no major pain and no major blood. I still clean maybe one to two times a day. I don't do anything over that because that's just overkill in my opinion. Um, I'm not having any blood. I do still get, you know, the crusties and the little bit of lymph that happens. So yeah, it is still definitely healing. I can tell you that, but as far as like, you know, is the healing process gruesome in any way? Absolutely not. It is a glorious healing process. It's going really, really easy. And another thing that I was kind of worried about when I got it done is I am very much a stomach sleeper. So having a fresh nipple piercing and um, sleeping on your stomach is a little bit difficult, but I can totally sleep on my stomach just fine. There is absolutely no signs of rejection or migration going on. For those of you who said that 16 gauge is gonna make it reject, so far you're wrong, um, but yeah, everything's going really, really good. I am still keeping an eye on it, obviously. Cleaning it whenever it gets really kind of gunky, which isn't really bad. Like I heard a lot of people when they got their nipples done, like it was just really, really gunky and really gross. Mine isn't too bad, so it's looking really good and I love it. If you are someone who is very kind of self-conscious about your boobs, I highly recommend you get your nipples done because I absolutely love my right boob now. Like it's beautiful, my nipples hard all the time and it has like the jewelry in it and it just looks so good. I love it so much and I really, really want to get the other one done. That will probably happen sometime this year as long as my doctor says it's a-okay. And no need to worry, I am no longer going to be changing it because I have done quite a bit of changing the past couple of weeks, but I promise you I'm going to keep this barbell in and it's working out really well. It fits really nicely, there's enough room for it to move around and swell if it wants to, and I, I like this jewelry. So I don't, I'm not someone, when I get piercings, I'm not someone to go for very out there crazy jewelry. I very much like simple, classy looking, just regular barbells like this one up here, or like my nose studs or my septum. So yeah, I just like to keep it pretty simple, so I will be keeping this barbell in for quite a long time. Okay everyone, so that is basically the three week update slash procedure and cleaning of my nipple piercing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful to some of you out there. I know a ton of you have been dying to see this video, so really glad I could get it up for you guys today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I do upload every three days, at least I try my best to. So yeah, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos but until then i will see you guys very soon in my next video i love you guys bye